right here with the tutorial and I've tried to do this like eight times now and I haven't been able to cut the time down below three minutes so I'm not sure how long this is going to be. I'm going to try and go through it fast but also give you lots of information so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, this is the configuration for all of the Buildcraft machines. They all have their own configuration. As you can see some of them have more colors than others. This middle thing doesn't do anything if you right or left click it. Uh, liquid transposer, magma crucible, powered furnace, pulverizer, and many more. Anyways, if you look at this, all of them, they have one thing in common. They have a blue slot, and this slot is the one that you would put items into. And the reason for that is blue is the input, <laughs> simply put. So if you want to get items in through, well, you wouldn't have a wooden transport pipe there, but some kind of item transport pipe, you would have to have blue connected there. If you want a hopper on top of this, you would have to have blue up there. Like, if your hopper is on top of this and you don't know why your items aren't going down, open your configuration and turn that to blue. This is top, bottom, right, left, and the back. Pretty easy once you get used to it. And yeah, this is the default configuration for all of them. And I like to make them all blank unless I'm using them. And if they are blank, they can accept power. It doesn't matter if, uh, you know, if it's like that or if it's blue, yellow, anything like that. I just don't like to mess with the configuration, so I like to keep it blank and power it from one of, bl one of the blank sides. And this is where I would have a pipe connecting to this from probably a chest of items. Anyways, you can also, with this, well, I'm not going to, I can't place it right there. So I'll get rid of this, change the back to an orange output, because orange is the only color that will accept both of those. I could attach a pipe back there, and assuming this was powered and had items in here, you know, they would get pulverized and the dust and whatever random items would automatically get pumped out here. You don't have to get one of those special gates, you don't have to attach any engines to this. All you have to do is put it onto an output and items will automatically go through and wherever you want them to go. Another neat thing about that is you can put item or machines right next to each other. In this case, magma crucible there, liquid transposer here. Yeah, transposer. Anyways, I have this output on the right and I have this input on the left and this will connect to that. So if I had this creating lava or yeah, that's the only thing this can create. If I had this creating lava, it would automatically go into this liquid transposer unless there was already some other type of liquid in here. And so that's an easy way to uh, skip having to use pipes. And I do recommend if you do this setup, you know, coppers or something, just to keep it going forever. But that means you can't just have them like on top of each other because that's where the hoppers would go. Ah, I'm getting off track. Configuration. Uh, you can set these all blank, blue is the input, you don't even have to have an input. So, uh, well, if you're not pumping items in, you don't have to have an input. If there's a hopper connected, you have to have an input, I already went over that. I think I'm done, but I've done this so many times that it's hard to remember what I've included, what I haven't included. If I did miss anything, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you in another video, and uh, maybe leave a comment anyway. Uh, click the like button, I don't know. Anyways, I'll hope to see you guys later.